it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here giving this uh, TEDx talk at the uh, LAU Beirut. And especially that it is about time, and time matters. I know it matters to me, I'm sure it matters to you, otherwise you won't be here trying to find out how to get a life scan, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right, left, life. <laughs> Since it is right, let's get right away into the subject. Let me ask you, how many of you feel that they have the whole day in front of them and they really want to spend this day taking care of what you know, they want for their fitness, their time for the family, their time for financials, some time for friends, but oh my God, this is what happens. No more time. We're into tomorrow. And all it needed to put everything in this 24 hours is to stop all of the people who are taking your time, sometimes even stop yourself and say to yourself, if you don't like the word stop, let me get a life scan. Let me scan the situation. Scan all the time. Stop, categorize, analyze, and modify. That's the scan that I would like you to do every time you want to really have control of your time. Stop and ask. What do you want? Is it urgent? Do I really have to give it some of my time now? Is it really important? Like a gift for me? Maybe I, okay, it's important, because if it's not important, I'm not gonna give it some of my time. And maybe the rest is just a big mess that's taking some time of my time. So I need to stop again, categorize, what is really important and what is not. Analyze it. Should I do it now or do it later? And notify myself and the people who are you know, trying to take some of my time. Notify them of my decision about how I want to spend my time. And it's okay to say no. Because no is no for now. It does not really mean no forever. It's just Give me some time to think about it. And let's do it the right way. And believe me, the minute you take some time to think about what you want to really do, you will have all the time to do it. By stopping all the different you know, nonsense interruptions, things that are taking some of your time. Having time for your fitness is very important because if you don't have time for yourself, really, how are you going to have time for everybody else around you? Having time for your family is very important. Having time for your financials is also very important. People who have financial problems, they won't be able to spend time you know, adequately and efficiently and really enjoy what they are doing. They will be somewhere else trying to figure out how to take care of their financial situation. Having time for your friends, and having time, really, to have fun. Just really have fun. Don't worry, be happy. I found out that these are five matters for a balanced life. But I also find out, I, I found out that this is not the whole story. 30 years ago, I had to get my own life scan. Dad came to me and said, Yusuf, 30 years ago, 1983, Lebanon was a war game. And that came to me and said, I don't want you to play this game. So tell me, what do you want to do in your life? So I had to scan, stop, and categorize what are my really important matters at that time. Education was one, having a job was one. And I started analyzing how am I going to go by doing that. And I notified that I decided to go to the city. That gave me $1,000 and the ticket. And I said, God, 
I mean, son, this is all I have. God be with you. This is it. And I noticed that with that, how am I going to make it? So it's not really about having the balanced life, but if you want to have a successful life, I felt that I need to have faith in myself, that I can really make it. Take it, you make it. I went to the States, and I said, well, I'm going to really make it. Have faith in yourself, people. People in the States who are successful are not better than you. They are doing something, maybe, that you don't know. They are doing something better than you. So go and find out what is that. Focus on what is it that you want to have in life. What is it that you want to accomplish? Having faith in myself, focusing on the things that I want, my objectives, my goals, some of them I shared, some of them I did not share with people. It's okay. But what was really the important part for success is to start forecasting, putting a plan for the thing that I had in mind. So I started to forecast. How am I going to achieve my goals? And I did not leave it just on paper. I actually fulfilled my plan. And as I was fulfilling my plan, I kept getting a scan. Stopping, categorizing, analyzing the situation, and notifying myself, use it. You are on the right track, or no, you are not on the right track. Realign yourself. Then I called it the feedback that I was giving myself. So all of a sudden, I realized that more than the five matters for the balanced life, the fitness, the family, the financials, time for the friends, and time to have fun, I had to spend some time developing faith in myself, focus on the things that I want to have, so forecast it, fulfill it, and then get some feedback along the way. After I graduated from the University of Michigan, I got a job with ITT, then I got a job with Chrysler Corporation and with General Motors. 14 years in the States, I got a lot scan again. I stopped and I said to myself, is this what I want? That's it? Success, job, everything is fine, but I was missing something again. I didn't feel the balance was. I remember you know, when we get together with the you know, Lebanese friends, everybody is like, you know, it's beautiful here in the States, we love it, but we really like to go back to Lebanon and be with the family and be with our friends. You know, Adi, I mean, you know. <laughs> so I stopped, I categorized the situation again, what's important now in my life, and I start analyzing how can I really get back and have this real balance and successful life, even in Lebanon. And I notified myself, I'm going back to Lebanon. A lot of people told me, what are you going to do there? I mean, everybody is leaving Lebanon and going to the States. You know, it's like you're going the wrong direction. But again, I had to have faith in myself. I can make it. I came back to Lebanon. And I started, you know, teaching at the uh, universities. I mean, my automotive background, I put it into work with uh, project management and engineering management. And one time in the classroom, I was teaching project management and engineering management, and the students told me, sir, you can't really manage anything in Lebanon. I mean, you just, you know, whatever your boss tells you to do, you just do it, and that, that's it. I closed the book, and I said, you know, guys, I'm not going to teach you anymore project management or engineering management. I really want to teach you something I learned or I discovered myself. It's about self-management. I really want you to have faith in yourself. You can do what you want to do. And even you can manage your own body. But you have to have faith in yourself. Focus on the things that you want. Forecast it. Have a plan. 
and work their plan by fulfilling your forecast and along the way keep scanning for feedback. Stop, categorize, analyze, and notify. And once again, it's okay to say no. No for now, not no for never. And I did not want to make this short speech with my students at that time. Just take a speech, you know, words, you know, and uh, I wanted to develop something to make them really track <coughs> this balanced and successful life. Those 10 factors, I used to call them before, and then I call them the 10 matters. I want to create something, and I created what I call the planner matters. And I remember when I thought about the, the idea of the planner matters, I went to the printing company and I said, I want to show my students something. I want them to have a tool that will really help them to have a balanced and successful life. And I want to put in this planner, you know, the 10 factors, the fitness, family, and check it off if you've done it. Focus, forecast, blah, blah, blah. And I showed it to the printing company. I said, you know, we love the idea. How many do you want? I said, well, I have like 30 students in one class and 30 in another, and probably I'll give some you know, as a gift, so 250 will be fine. And the printing shop said, you know, thank you very much, we're not interested. You know? If it's not, you know, a thousand or more, we're not going to do it. And when I got home, I got a phone call from them saying, you know, we thought about it again because we like your idea. We are going to do it. You take whatever you want and we will sell whatever we want to the library or to the bookstores. Not even three weeks later or a month later, every single one was sold out. And the printing company that was back in 2000, they kept printing this over and over again every year and we sent it all over the world. I'm telling you this just for one reason, to tell you that it works. It's not about the plan, it's about the concept. It's about really believing that you have 10 matters, that you really have to give it some of your time. You have to give time for your fitness, you have to give time for your family, time your, for your financial, you have to give time for your friends and family, but you also have to have some time developing faith in yourself, focus on the things that you want to have accomplished in life, and start really forecasting, planning the work, and fulfilling it, work the plan, and have some feedback along the way. I call the date on the 10 plus one method, and people ask me why plus one. Plus one, and it really matters that plus one, because when people don't do this, it's not because of the people around you, it's because of you. The plus one is to really get the freedom to live the balanced and successful life. To really check off every single one. And when you don't check it off, ask yourself, why? Why did I allow people? Why I did not say no? Ask yourself. Have the freedom. You can. All you need to have this freedom is to get a life scan. Get the life scan, plan, you can and may all your matters come true.